Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're gonna do another abrasion test of leader lines. These are fluorocarbon lines. And uh, first of all, thank you so much to everybody who posted comments on the prior one. A lot of good intel. I have a lot of great ideas to continue using this tool. But uh, in this, in this uh, video in particular, we're gonna be testing the abrasion resistance on two very popular uh, types of leader line. These are both from Seaguar. They're both the exact same pound. They're, they're both 20 pound lines, but, uh, and they're both the same diameter. One, this blue one is marketed as a stronger line as a, and so I'm guessing that this one is actually gonna be stronger um, when we actually break it compared to the red label, which, uh, which it talks about it being softer. And, uh, and so now we're gonna test it out just to see if there actually is a difference or not. And before we get too far, I'm not affiliated with any line company, so it doesn't help me financially one way or the other. This is really just to help us all, um, you know, choose the right lines for our leaders because that's very important. You know, the leader line is what's on the business end of, of our lines when we're targeting, you know, when we're targeting our, our favorite fish. So we wanna make sure that it's as strong as possible without wasting money. So anyhow, how this test works, in, ca in case you missed the, missed the first one, is we have, you can see these two lines going down. This one, the one on this side is blue label. The one on this side is the red label line. And we have weights tied to the bottom of them. So they have the same exact tension as weights obviously equal the same. So we have the same amount of tension on each line and this yellow part is sandpaper, and, and that's it's mounted on this rod that'll go back and forth. And as it as it oscillates, it'll just be eating away at the line on a sandpaper that is all the same uh, the same tinsel. And just to make sure that there's not any kind of uh, any kind of fallacy on the on the line, we're going to switch back and forth. So we're going to switch. The weights are going to stay the same. Everything's going to be the same, except we're going to move the lines from one side to the other just to make sure that it's not one side that is favoring the, the other. So anyhow, that's the test. We're gonna go ahead and get started. And I can't wait to see what happens. All right, so test number one, we have blue label here, red label here. Let's see what happens. Wow, all right, so. So that one, clearly the red label fell first, but it was only like a half turn past the blue label. I was expecting this one to, uh, to last longer than that. So anyhow, we're, we'll switch over and uh, retime and we'll do it again. All right, so test number two, we have this, the red label here, blue line over on this side. And uh, let's, see, let's see if blue label wins again. There goes the red one. Uh, so that was really the same, uh, same exact thing where the, the red one broke first and then the, the blue label would just break just, you know, another like a half or the, the next oscillation. So, uh, so yeah, it does look like it could be, uh, at least it, it is a little bit stronger. We're gonna go ahead and do some more tests going back and forth just to make sure that that's true. And, and we'll count, count the revelations to see, you know, what percentage more you know oscillations the blue label gets versus the red. Oh, very interesting. So there it was. Uh, it was almost a draw. Um, the I believe it was the red label broke just like a fraction faster, but they both broke on the same oscillation. Oh, ho, ho, ho. uh oh, uh oh. So that one, the uh, blue label definitely fell first. And uh, the red label didn't last much longer, but it got about an extra oscillation. So that was, uh, that was very interesting. There goes the red. All right, so that one was more conclusive. That one, the, the red, the red broke first, and then this blue one broke uh, about, a, about a one and a half uh, more oscillations than the other. Is the red. All right, so that was uh, that was test number six, and and that was uh, that was pretty much in line with what we saw. You know, the blue label was uh, was was winning by about uh, you know one to one and a half oscillations. Um, the red label actually did win one, and it did tie another one. So uh, although the blue label did seem to come out on top, it was surprisingly close. So it was. 
it was just by a, a small a small margin that this this blue label appears to be more abrasion resistance and given the fact that this red label basically tied the much less expensive um, you know fluorocarbon mainline uh, we can basically conclude that this blue label you know although very close is you know slightly stronger than just the normal you know fluorocarbon mainline which is much less expensive so uh, i'm not completely sold on this yet i'm going to do some more tests on different brands and uh, and just see if we can find one line that is that is significantly better because again this was a, a small margin where these oscillations were uh, or the the not the lines were typically breaking at about 30 oscillations and the fact that that this one on average was maybe doing like another half turn it's really not you know that much stronger not as not as not as much as i was expecting so anyhow that's the this test um hope you enjoy it if you have any questions uh, leave a comment down below and if you have uh, any lines that you would like me to test next leave a comment down below i'm just you know building a list of different lines to to uh, to check out based on your feedback and so more will be coming i'm enjoying these i was uh, again I'm, i've been shocked so far on each one so i can't wait to see you know what the future ones show as well all right well thank you so much for your time and watching this video i've definitely enjoyed uh, using this line tester and we're going to be doing a lot more videos so if you want to be the first to know about the future contest, be sure to subscribe to our website at saltstrong.com if you haven't already done so. Again, we're gonna have a lot more tests and I'm gonna start testing the knot strengths as well. We had a lot of recommendations uh, talking about knot strengths. So I'm gonna do that in a separate video and uh, we're gonna do it for these two lines as well as a lot of other leader lines as well. So thank you once again for watching this video. I hope you can get out on the water soon and catch some big ones.